And welcome back, guys, to some delicious, delicious power plays. And I'm gonna actually we're at part this. ten. Part ten. Can you believe it? I, I can't. can't believe it. I can't believe it because we've only defeated like four, or maybe even less than that, three. Right. Well, I'm gonna actually kill Metal Shark player now. All right, you're gonna. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of a couple bosses. You're gonna retire this cassette tape, or this cassette player. I actually saw someone walk into our store the other day with one of those. Like, they were listening to a It was a, a hipster, walk wasn't it? Yeah, it was a walkster. Like, a walkster? What's a walkster? I don't know. Oh, well, God. Well, we, now we've invented... It's a mixture of a guy that uses a Walkman as a hipster. A walkster. Yeah. Actually, th that's actually a funny story. Speaking of hipster gamers... My car is pretty much a hipster car. I know, it's hipster, but it, it's cool hipster, you know? It's it's like vintage hipster now. But yeah, no, speaking of, of hipsters that walked that walked into um, walked into my store asking for, you know, it's like, yo man, and he's and I swear to god, he was like totally the biggest hipster, like what you would consider being, you know, like the stereotypical, like Scott, like an ascot scarf. Oh God. You know, and he had like bleach dyed white hair with it, like half shaved off one side, but the rest was long, oh, God. you know? And like he had the hipster glasses that had like popped out like eyeglass frames because he didn't actually need glasses, but he was still trying to make it look like he, he wore them. And he's like, all right, I have a question that I need to ask you. I got this question. I know you can't answer it because you probably don't play these types of games. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is going to be I, so <laughs> I just awesome. died by going to you know? <laughs> Anyways, continue your story. All right. I'm, this, I'm interested. This is going to be so great. I'm, alre I'm already prepared because I've already been exposed to this hipster. Oh, no. And he's like, see, I'm looking, I'm looking for this, this game title that came out. It was a PS2 launch title. I'm sure you don't, you don't remember what it is, because not a lot of people have heard of it. I'm like, oh. I'm like, okay. Um, do you know what the game's about? He's like, yeah, it's about this, about this kid with horns that gets trapped in a castle. I know. It sounds cliche, but it's really, really different and really, really cool. I'm like, oh, and at this point, I already know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm sure that some people in the comments already know what we're talking about. He's talking about Ico. He's talking about, like, you know, the uh, the precursor to Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, you're, you're looking for Ico. And then he's like, uh... Yeah, how would you know that? I'm like, well, I work in a game store, and Shadow of the Colossus, which is its prequel, he's like, you know it's a prequel? I'm like, yeah, it, it takes place before all the stuff that happens in Ico. You could have been like, and actually, it comes in a collection on the PS3. I did! I needed I, yeah. the PS2, <laughs> right? No, 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 see, I'm like, well, unfortunately, we don't have it for the PS2, but we are actually having... Having the, we actually have the PS3 collection where you can get Ico and Shadow of the Colossus for your PS3. And he just goes, he looks at me and he does that like scoff up, oh. And then he walks over, he walks over to the, to our PS3 thing, you know, like you've seen it. He walks over to the thing and he pulls it off the shelf and then he throws it on the ground and walks out. <laughs> I, I would be like, oh. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were a hipster. Please, continue I didn't even to tell know. me how you know I, so much I, about gaming. I feel, I feel so blessed to know that inside, I am a hipster because I know what this game is. And I think I ruined, I ruined his hipster. -ness. I hope you ruined that guy's day. <laughs> Honestly, if did. you're a hipster and you think you're tough shit because, oh, I played Nintendo. Yeah, so did everyone else. <laughs> I own but, a PS2. Oh my god, congratulations. <laughs> you're a late you're a post 2000s hipster. Yeah, but like the crazy shit that I see, like this guy, like it's just the the audacity of like walking up, actually grabbing it like he's actually going to buy it and then tossing it on the ground as if to show his disgust that I would even mention the PlayStation. <laughs> Like, you know, not the best version of the game at all. I mean, there is exceptions. I mean, the Zone of the Enders collection. It's been proven that the PS2 version is way better. Yeah, it runs smoother. Mm -hmm. 
But regardless, it's just like, I don't know why people get off on, like, I mean, I can understand the hipster culture, like, the idea that, you know, you, there, we need to have hipsters, we need to have that feeling that there are people that find the niche stuff, that can like it, that isn't completely oh, mainstream. Oh, fuck, that, I totally got fucked by yeah, that. Yeah, that guy completely uh, wrecked you. What I hate about this is you riggedy, right riggedy, back riggedy, at the riggedy, start. Riggedy, 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 wrecked. You're really right back at the start of these sections, like, yeah. that's what I hate. It's, yeah, it just makes this so up, but yeah, no, like, did I ever tell you about the guy, the guy that ninja ran through our store? Ninja ran? Yeah. Can you tell me all of it? Okay, so, a guy, I'm working, it was probably, I think it was like, maybe a Saturday or Sunday night, and a guy, a guy walks in, and he's, he's clearly on something, like, other than, like, you know, Mary Juana, or whatever. Or life? Yeah, he's just high on fucking life. He just went into the store, got some life. So like, you know, he's like up. twitching and he's like, he's all, he's all, all over the place. And he's just, he comes up, he comes up to the counter. He's like, yo man, do you have movies? I'm like, yes, yes, we have movies. We have movies. We have, we have tons of movies. He's like, yo man, do you have any movies with Jane Fonda in it? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sure we do. No, I'm, I'm sure we, we have some. Would you like me to look up? Is there anyone in particular looking? He's like, no man. She's fucking hot. And he's just, he's like, he's like this close to me. Like he's leaning over the counter. He's like this close to me. <laughs> and then he's like, yo man, I gotta go. So he like, he, he, he like pulls away. And then he like, he, he like holds himself. Like he puts one hand on each shoulder, you know, like cross armed and then starts running like into the, into the family section. And then he's in there for a little while. Then he goes to the drama section. And then someone goes to the back, so I go to the Our store is divided into, into like, the video rental store, which is at the Please front of the store. Please the name of the store, because we don't need people going Oh, I haven't, I haven't said the name of the store. Well, you just uh, said it. Oh, I did? Yeah, Blondie, please bleep that. Oh, just bleep it out. But regardless, uh, like, at the front of the store is the movie section, and then at the back is the video game portion of the store. And with that... Um, like, I had to go back there because someone else went back there. What? There's another portal? Oh, mate. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is just the regular portal. The regular portal. Yeah. Alright, anyways, continue. But yeah, so I go back there, and then he he comes up to me again, because I guess he had, he'd formed a special bond with me, because I apparently like Jane Fonda as much as he did. <laughs> but from that, he, like, leans in again, gets super close again, and he's like, alright, man. I don't want to freak you out. And he starts like itching at his neck and stuff, and it's it's getting really gross. And he's just like, "Yo, man, I just I just don't want to, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything." But I was on the bus. And I don't want to freak you out, but I was on the bus. But there was this kid, like ten years old, max, max ten years old. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like kind of trying to not be part of this conversation now. He's like. And you know what he did? He fucking threw crack down my mouth. Just straight down. Just straight up crack down my mouth. And I'm like, oh. Okay, he's like, that's why I'm high as a fucking kite right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. Okay, uh, would you mind maybe just calming down? And and then he, he's like, shh. And he like put his hand up and he was like almost touching me. And I'm just, I'm like, I push myself back. He's like, shh. I must go. And he just, he gets into like ninja prone run position from like Naruto and just dashes around the store for like a minute and then out the door. And I've never seen him again. <laughs> and you're just like, this doesn't happen very often. Like it may, I may say this sound like there's a, like a lot of, a lot of weird shit that happens Crackheads. in my store, but no, not really. You just it, normally it's average, an yeah, average day. An average know. day, but every once in a while, you just get a crazy. You just get a crazy, and they just like Jane Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> the crazies love Jane Fonda. The crazies love Jane Fonda. I mean, I got tons of funny work stories. Like working overnights uh, oh, at a at a copy center was like probably one of my favorites, because like all the people that would wander in, in the middle of the night. Because they didn't know that we were open 24 hours. So they would walk into the store like in complete bewilderment. <laughs> you know, like, they'd walk in and be like, oh my god. 
Oh my god, oh gosh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, like just, oh my god, just like that. <laughs> yeah, like it's right. open, and then you'd be like, oh hi, and then they would see you, and then they would run away. Because they, they just couldn't, they're like, oh my god, I just, I did something bad. <laughs> and then there's the people that come in like completely drunk and like try to photocopy their butts and stuff. That was always fun. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that you shouldn't have risked that. This is the one. only part of it the state. The state oh, well, I got I got funny stories. This is a I'm CJ glad, story. I'm glad, CJ story time. The CJ story time. CJ okay. story time. We'll get me through this. We'll get you through this stage. Metal shock player. Yeah, I think you're saying stuff because I'm just like fully like my focus is all here. All right. Well, don't worry. I got you. But yeah, no, like like I said, like the drunk people always always were the funniest things coming into the copy center late at night. And it was like that one person that came in, and I may have told you this story before, but uh, the woman that came in and she looked green. Like it was like not that like pleasant sort of like cough yellow color that people get when they're kind of sick, right? Yeah. We're just talking like full out like an aqua, like an aqua green like color. Like gangrene? Or like, like oh, it almost looked like it, Jesus. And then she like waddles in, she's got like her bag full of, I'm assuming it's like an essay or something, you know, to, so she could photocopy it, you know, to take it to school. And she was deathly sick, I would assume, for that. And she goes up to the color copy machine and just like leans over it, and puts her card in, you know, and she just, she looks down, makes this big heave noise, and just unloads her entire stomach content all oh, over, fuck. all over the copy machine. That is, <laughs> who had to clean that one up? That's what I'd like to know. Well, well if you know who cleaned that one up? This guy right here. Oh, God. Because I was the only person that could stomach it, like, to go over there. And it smelled rancid, but... The um, it's the amazing thing about our bodies that like once something like terrible like that happens, the color the color came back to her, you know like it was ridiculous. She just, like at that moment she had to release that. Demon yeah, that, that, that it was like an ex it was like a whole exorcist like regurgitation of like demon all over the coffee machine, which sucked fucking balls. I don't know how you break the purple one. Uh, but. You know, oh, yeah, and it's just like uh, the color came back, and she like she like straightened up her posture, and she was smiling, and she said sorry, and she just left. Wow. Yeah, it's on. It was on tape too. Apparently the apparently the uh, the security guys actually got it on tape. So it's one of those things where it's probably gonna go down in history as yeah. one of the the funny. The I funny don't things. really have any like weird stories, because uh, I mean I work. I've told people, like, I work for a pretty big computer company. Um, though, I do have the story of... Oh, my God. Wow. Can I really do that? <laughs> oh. I'm tired of the stage. I just want to get the Metal Shark player, beat him in three seconds, and have it over. Like, oh, my God. Like... Well, you have to fill why up... Why did the... I beat this game so many times as a kid? Like, why? <laughs> why did you like this game? Like, it's... It's... It's not terrible... It still functions as a game. Like there are plenty of games like. Oh yeah, there's there's head. definitely worse games. But it's out like there. this is unnecessary, is what it is. If, if X Five was the last one, we'd be on to different things by now. Yeah, like, I know. Bigger and better things, but no, this one had to exist. Bigger and better things. You mean like X Six on PlayStation Two? Like X Seven would have just been play X Six. You know, if they fucking waited, you know what? Maybe. It would have been better. Maybe. It's just... I don't know. It's, it's just like... It, it's arbitrarily long. Like, this is probably going to be like a 25 part one. Like just, yeah, just because. We're going to have to take a break. Look how Alia wants to talk to you right now. Like, does she think, Alia, we're kind of fucking busy in the trash compactor? Yeah, exactly. You have to... What? Um, what's, what's the line? Go click... Uh, Stop all trash compactors on like the B level or whatever. The Star Wars. Stop all trash compactors on the detention level. Detention level. Stop all trash compactors on the detention level. <laughs> oh, they're dying. No, no, too. shut them all down. <laughs> I love Star Wars. Yeah, and I haven't watched it forever. Me too. Well, uh, last time was May the Fourth. Yeah, May the Fourth be with you. A lot of people are hoping that uh, we'll see the Star Wars then. 
No, it's coming out in December. I thought that that uh, J.J. Abrams was trying to get it pushed. He was, but oh my, dude, you can't stay there. <laughs> dude, you can't do this to me. You can't. You you. He cannot. <laughs> I like. I'm like. I'm like. Come on, man. But um, no, like when the trailer came out, it said December. Well, uh, obviously December it did. 2015. I just, I really hope it would be awesome if, if May 4th was the actual release date. A lot of people are hoping it's the same release date as the original. Uh oh. <laughs> I love the hover. Yeah. You hated it at first. Yeah, but, but it saved you. It saved me and then it saved you and all around, it's a good guy. Hover's a good guy. I love that guy. Hover's a good guy. I just want this to be over. I, I, I think this is it. There's a mini boss here too. Oh really? It, it can't be a mini boss. The boss has to be next. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so you have to fight the trash compactor? Yep. And I can't damage it yet. Now I can. But only the oh. purple ones. Uh, oh no, you, you beat the, the blue one right there. Oh, maybe there was two purple ones on that side. Yeah, there was. So dumb that she have to fight a trash compactor. Yeah, see. Yay! This oh, this is a whole part. <laughs> it's an angry trash compactor. It had like a face. <laughs> it just wiped out the entire ceiling and changed the entire anatomy yeah. of, the, <laughs> of the place. Alright. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna get through this and beat another boss real quick, but no. No. It's a part. No, it's a part. Oh my god. You kept screwing up. I, I think I kind of interfered there with my storytelling. No, no, no. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Metal Shark player. I guess I'll voice this guy. You! What are you up to? Instead of investigating the. nightmare, you're manipulating it. You know what, actually? Can you. Keep going. It's strange that you are not affected by the nightmare. Can you can you use Kasame's voice for him? <laughs> <laughs> you have excellent DNA, don't you? I'd like to analyze your DNA once. You must be Metal Shark Player, right? It doesn't matter. I'll get your DNA! I'm sorry, but I just saw his face and I'm just like, this has to be Kasame. <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> and then he laughed. And then he died. <laughs> He's like imploding. <laughs> He's compacting, would you say? Oh. Oh. That's super weird. Why, is it, why does that say the date there? I don't know, cause probably cause your mouse is hovering over something. Oh yeah, you're on the you're on the. Uh, oh okay. You're on the uh, sidebar. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> That's cute. You 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 hit the uh, I forget what they call it the, the sun. I don't know. I can't. No, right. I can't hit it. You got metal anchor, which actually destroys the metal blocks. Oh, Raka Kojin. Raka Kojin. Devilish. <laughs> Who names a robot? The Django. Django Unchained. I know, but that Django, the Django, it's not, there's no A in it, it's just DJ. I got the saber extend. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. The, the thing is, these parts are long and there's gonna be a lot of them. I like how the record time is just 10 minutes straight, like it stopped counting. It stopped counting. It just stops at 10 minutes. You beat this stage in 10 minutes. Alright, so, next time on Para Plays, we'll maybe. Oh, come on, save first. Okay, next time on Power Plays, maybe we'll, uh, we'll get erp. further we'll erp. in the game. We'll erp in the game? Yeah. All right, take care, guys. Stay frosty.